Hi you guys, welcome back to another post review video. I hope you guys are enjoying this um, angle that I have with my 40 by 50s and my larger canvases from now on. I'd rather just do the video this way so that you can see the whole entire canvas because it's harder to explain something when you're so close up on it on my desk. So for me to be able to tell you guys things and show you guys the canvas better, I like the idea of having it laid out like this so you can see it better, so you can understand what I'm trying to say, and you can see better details. So from now on, my canvases that are large will be like this setup. So I hope you guys enjoy it like this. So this canvas here is a 50 by 60. It's 24 colors, so it is quite larger than you know my normal smaller canvases. Sorry if you guys hear screaming. My kids are playing in the living room, so that's what they're doing. But this canvas is from Paint Some Way, so I did check before I started to film the video. It is still available, so the link will be down in the description if you guys are interested in checking it out for yourself. So I got this um, last year. They sent this to me to review. Um, I didn't get the chance to work on it last year because I was working on that huge Christmas tree crystal kit. So um, I knew when I got to 2022, I'm like, I definitely want to work on this for Christmas because I like to do a larger kit for you guys for Christmas. So I got this and I'm like, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to work on it this year. And I did. I finished it. And you guys, I love this. I truly love this. Um, I call it the Nutcracker Canvas slash Toy Soldiers. I truly love it. It's very Christmassy. I think they're kind of like under a Christmas tree, as you can see, like all this greenery and stuff there. So I will say when I started working on this, I saw a lot of areas where they were black and I'm like, I don't like that. I don't think it's going to look good. But once I started to work on it and stuff and I saw the progress as I was, you know, getting more down to the bottom, because you guys know I start up in this corner up here and I go across and then I go across, across and I work my way to the bottom. So once I had got like half of it done, I was like, I'm loving this. I got to get, you know, keep working on it because it looks really cool. Um... I love the idea of like the peppermint candies. Those look really, really good. I have no clue though, you guys, what this is in this area right there. I just, I don't like it. But I love the peppermints. I love the um, the nuts that are in the bowl here. And these are what I like to call those old lady peanuts or those old lady nuts that you got to crack and get like the walnut out. I think they're like walnuts, isn't aren't they? Because when my grandma used to have them, she'd have that cracker thing. And then you crack it open and then there's those nasty walnuts in there. So I really love that, y'all. It just made me think about my grandma when I was um, getting to this area down here. And I will say when I worked on it, I had no clue what this, like these little nut things were. I had no idea. I literally had to work on it and then step back from it for like a few hours. And then I came back to it and I looked at it and I'm like, those are those grandma peanuts or those grandma nuts that my grandma used to have so um that just made me think about her you guys you know she's not here anymore but um yeah I just thought about her with that so that was a nice little touch like I said the peppermint looks really good I like the little bow right here my little nutcrackers look good I think this one is my favorite because he has like the wild hair so um yeah but there is um, one thing you guys that I am going to fuss about so you guys know how I am I'm honest when it comes to my reviews I don't care how expensive the canvas is how expensive I mean how inexpensive the canvas is or how expensive the canvas is I don't care if I was sent to review it or if I paid it for it I'm going to be honest with you guys so my one major issue with this canvas you guys was the canvas itself it was so like it wasn't able to get flat and mind you i had this for over a year so i did lay this so it could get flat um and it got as flat as it was gonna get but it's one of those topsy-turvy canvases so the diamonds would stick and then like a little bit would be sticking up so i'd have to keep pushing it down i did have to roll this several times when i finished it and then right before i filmed the video so that you know to ensure that nothing would come off but yeah look at the canvas you guys it is just terrible like you see how it's like folded up here I don't know if y'all can even see that like the folds but I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna show you the back so yeah you can see that even the bottom here there's like a fold there you can see that it's totally beat up and this is why I've decided to mainly stop working with the budget friendly companies because they do not put their larger canvases in boxes and that makes a difference 
when you have a mailman who is stuffing stuff in the mailbox. Um, they just don't care, you guys. They're trying to get hundreds and hundreds of mailboxes filled a day. So they're not worried about if it's a canvas or what it is. So, yeah, I was so upset with um, the wrinkliness of this. And so, yeah, but it is. it looks horrible, you guys. If the canvas didn't look bad like that i would love this canvas even more but um just based off of the wrinkliness of this if i was giving this a one out of five it would lose a points so and get a four because of the canvas um the diamonds on here were fantastic you guys these were some of the best diamonds that i have worked with in a very long time and i've worked with the most expensive canvases down to the cheap cheap canvases and this one the diamonds were phenomenal. Like, I'm going to end up tossing them and not keeping them. But they were great. I loved everything about working with them. I was able to move fast through this canvas. So I finished this fairly quickly based off the diamonds being great. Um, the stick on this was great as well. So I didn't have any issues with that. Like I said, it was just the canvas. I did kit up, you guys, in this container here. So this is the container with these little bitty bottles. Um, I'm going to show y'all the trash real quick and then I'm going to tell y'all something about these bottles that I can't stand. So let me show you the trash. Um, and like I said, I'll show you guys my trash from now on, even if it's a uh, budget friendly canvas, if the canvas is large. So just so you guys know that these budget friendly canvases be having trash too. Come on, I'm just... From now on, you guys, I'm going to try to have this trash already out before I put the video out. Okay. Let me show y'all this trash real quick. So, here's the trash. So, not bad at all for 50 by 60. I think that's pretty standard. I think it's okay. I'm not mad at it. Um, yeah, a lot of big chunks, a lot of tiny diamonds. I will say a lot of these diamonds, even though they were great, a lot of them had baby diamonds in there, like those tiny, tiny diamonds. So that was annoying. And a lot of them had um, misplaced colors. So it had different colors in the bins that weren't supposed to be in there. But again, there's the trash. And these bottles, you guys, I have noticed, like, like right here, like this, like, they're cracking like I don't know how my little bottles are cracking you guys like I'm not dropping them or anything but these ones are just oh my gosh you guys my camera hold on let me fix it all right y'all I fixed the camera I literally have my tripod up you guys and I like pushed it a little bit and it fell over but anyways back to what I was saying so a lot of these bottles in this um, setup here, I have noticed that they crack a lot. And I didn't drop this or anything, so I have no clue why they're cracking. But yeah, they are. I still use them. I still like them. This is one of my favorite um, kit up things outside of the um, outside of these or the larger one like this. These are my absolutely two favorite um, kit up things that I use when I kit up. So there you have it, you guys. That is the video for my Nutcracker slash Toy Soldier canvas. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm happy that I was able to get it done. Like I said, around Christmas time, I always try to give you guys a nice Christmas canvas every year. So thank you so much for watching this video. Do not forget to like, comment, you guys, share my video, subscribe to the channel. Um, and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.